Hello everyone. Hope you had a fantastic holiday season. This week we're trying out IYPT 2019 prom number eight sci-fi sound. This is the second last video in our series about the IYPT 2019 problems. If you want to see the videos for the previous problems, please click the little icon in the top right hand corner. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe down below and please leave a comment for me, telling me what I should be doing next after the 17 problems are complete. This problem asks us to tap a helical spring. And we can make a sound like a laser shot in a science fiction movie. And the problem wants us to investigate and to explain this phenomenon. The spring that we're using today is a metal slinky toy. It is made from a single thin strip of spring steel, and it is very flexible, as you can see. I also have a similar toy that I bought from my local dollar store. Normally, the toy is in the shape of a ring, but when it is disturbed slightly, it could pop up into this flowery shape. After examining this toy, we can see that this toy is also made out of one single strip of spring steel, because this toy only has one point in which the strip is connected to itself. When we disturb the spring, we should be able to hear a laser shot sound. But normally, the sound is so soft that it is difficult for our ears to pick up. And now I'll show you three ways that we can enhance the sound. We can either attach a piece of paper to the spring by using tape, or we can put a small plastic cup inside the helical spring, or we could also use a small clip to clip the cup to the end of the helical spring. To set up the experiment, I attach the spring to the ceiling using a piece of string, and I let the rest of the spring fall to the ground naturally. Then I use the pen to tap the spring so that the waves formed are either longitudinal or transverse. And for the slinky, I capture the following sound. After trying out the sound with the slinky, I moved on to cutting open my toy using a pair of pliers. And as you can see, the toy can also be turned into a spring with a larger diameter and also lower spring constant. I then attach this larger spring to the ceiling in a similar way as the slinky before, and then I also tapped it with a pen just like I did with the slinky before. And here are the results that I got. To be completely honest, ever since I heard this problem, I wasn't really sure what is the mechanism behind this phenomenon. And after doing some research and trying out the experiment myself, I will now give some of my speculations. 
I believe that this phenomenon is caused by the acoustic dispersion. This is when the velocity of the sound wave traveling through a medium is a function of the frequency of the sound. In this case, the higher the frequency is, the higher the velocity is. So that causes the higher frequency sound to arrive first and the lower frequency sound to arrive a bit later. And this gives rise to the laser shot like sound that we hear in this phenomenon. This also means that the longer the spring is, the more significant the difference between the time of arrival for the higher frequency versus the lower frequency. The slinky that I use have a diameter of 8.5 centimeters and it has 86 turns. And the toy that I cut open has a diameter of 16 centimeters and it has 9 turns. So doing some math, we know that the slinky has a total length of around about 23 meters and the toy has a total length of around about 4.5 meters. So this big difference between the length gives rise to the significantly different sound that we hear between the two springs. I also realized that there's a difference between disturbing the spring so that it creates a longitudinal wave versus disturbing the spring so that it creates a transverse wave. Because the cross-sectional profile of our spring wire is rectangular, this means bending it in one axis versus the other will give us a different result. I also saw that Disturbing it so that it bends in the direction of the lower bending moment will result in a significantly longer lasting sound and a significantly clearer sound. I wasn't able to test out a piece of straight metal wire that is long enough so that we can still observe this phenomenon. I guess for this experiment, the spring shape helps us to get a longer amount of wire fitted into a smaller space that we could actually work with very easily. If you liked today's video, please feel free to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!